Right, hi guys. Today we are again are doing another kitchen design using AfterCAD, but now I have downloaded the new version 19, which I've got to say is absolutely fantastic. Right, again, I'm making another kitchen, but this one is going to be a lot more sort of complicated compared to the uh, the last one we did. Anyway, so let's just add these in quickly. Okay, fantastic. So, I'm going to start with base units. Let's chuck them in the room quickly. Uh, that'll do. We'll have some pan drawers. Actually, we'll have a couple of those. One second. Oh. F9 key doesn't work, so I'm recording a video. That's not very. Uh, that's not very good. Okay. Okay, brilliant. And now one thing in version 19 I love is you can actually save bundles of units that you've made clustered together. So essentially making your own catalogue almost um, of things that you sell and design a lot of. So I've actually pre-made some mantle and argo combinations. Ah, we'll use this one, that's nice. Ah, fits perfectly as well. What a coincidence. Okay, we're gonna add some more units in. Lovely, chuck those in there. Now we're going to do some end panels as well. Quadrant 80, oh, that's a bit big. <laughs> 80 millimeters. Brilliant, um, we've got some wall units as well. Actually, before we add those in, I'm going to add in the units that are going to go either side. So, got a thousand unit there, make it 500 deep and 1500 here. I'm going to end some end support panels on there as well. 80. Put that in the wrong order, didn't I? Lovely. I got one, so we can now just copy and paste that. Onto the other side. Wonderful. Lovely. Right. And uh, swap these around. They are 40 mil. Move you onto the back of them actually. Makes life easier. Get you into the corner. Fantastic. Right, let's set up a, a rough camera view then. Um, let's see, if put it into VR. It'll probably take a bit of time because I've got SketchUp models. Uh, everything's the wrong height as well. I can change that very quickly though. Let's just put that into photorealism for now which is the sort of low quality, but this new version 19 has got a HD render, which I'll show you in a bit, which is brilliant. Right, let's go into room settings, change some of these heights. Right, change into tool, 30 mil thick worktop, adjust the doors by 80 mil. Yes, I think that's all I want with that. Brilliant, okay, um, let's add in an island next. No, that's not going to do. Um, what about this one? No, <laughs> that's not going to do either. One second, I've got one in here which does suit the room. Yeah, I think this is it because I over accessorized it just for the purpose of the video. But I'll show you how you can take it, load it in very quickly, get that all nicely sort of lined up. Uh, let's change the stools as well. We've got some nice stools here. So again, just using favorites, we can load accessories in in sort of seconds, which I love. So we've got some cushions as well. Let's put them over there. Uh, we've got splash back with a white tile. Chuck that in. Brilliant. Um, next, let's add in some ceiling beams as well. So this one, height of ground is going to be that. Width is that. I think that's the height of the room, 8050, it is indeed. Put that in, I just change the colour so I can duplicate it. And brilliant. Let's make some thinner ones now. Put 
infinite ones there, so we can now put these in the room. Let's have a quick look at this. Just go into the room there. I think it's really sluggish because normally it's instant. I think it's because I'm recording a screen, it just doesn't want to do it as quick. Okay, right. There's an annoying bit of light there. But let's load a color scheme in. But you can see here how using favorites, we've created a room which on older versions, you'd, oh God, you'd probably spend 20, 30 minutes just decorating everything and accessorizing it. Great thing is with 19, once you've made it once, you can just save it as a favorite and reuse it again. Perfect, let's chuck that into HD. First thing I'm gonna do actually is go into lighting, move that out of the room, and then let's put this into a HD. Uh, let's do higher times four. We'll see how well that goes on a uh, video recording, probably not the best idea. But I just want to show you the version 19 sort of HD because it is it's amazing. So before you had to sort of mess around with lighting and get the lighting right. With the new one, you don't have to have any lights in the room as you saw me take it out. And what it does is where you've got windows and archways and stuff like that, it automatically floods light in. Should have probably done a low quality HD, but once it gets going, it's actually not too too bad. Brilliant. So you can then see that go. There's a bit of a jump there. <laughs> see that? So we're 42 seconds in, as you can see it going up here. So I haven't sped stuff up before people accuse me of that. Um, we've also got exposure, so you can make the room brighter and darker without actually oh god it's too much without actually editing lighting now I watched a webinar which goes through materials and that's how I've got all the materials to look so realistic like the, the woods and the floors that's just on the uh, the Articab members area but there you go you can see in a couple of minutes we've now created a complicated room which looks very realistic thanks for watching <laughs>